let's go through this car together. Let me show you what we got here. So obviously, you know, you look at the outside, the paint's the original, and it's a little older, and the body's not totally perfect, but there's no rust on it. There's no, it's no, uh, no rot on the car. It's really solid, so are the floors. And I'll tell you, it runs, runs great. Plenty of power, great sounding exhaust. And uh, so we got a nice dash up here. Got a little bit of warpy right there. I could, maybe it could be secured down a little more. But the dash is nice, it's not cracked or anything. Uh, the heat is working fantastic. I've got the heat on right now. There goes the uh, fan, I don't know if you can hear that. So nice, nice heat setup. Now it does have air conditioning. I'm not sure if it's working, so I'm turn the compressor on and see if anything happens. I'll, I'll update you in a moment. We have an aftermarket uh, CD player here with an input. I mean, not an input, excuse me, a, uh, you know, it's got the, it could take a CD. No input. It, it looks to have an auxiliary input because it says auxiliary, so it's probably based on the back of it. So there you go. Um, the lights. I'm gonna turn on the lights. The uh, left side opens up. The right side is not opening up. The uh, rear defogger, I don't know if that works. It's not foggy out, so I can't tell. The hazard light indicator is not coming on. Let's take a quick look and see if the hazard lights are coming on. We have a right hazard light. And nothing up front. So there you have it. So while we're doing this, let's turn off the hazard light and let's check the blinkers. That's the left blinker. And the right and the right blinker. We got a right blinker. So it looks like we have to look at some bulbs or a flasher unit or something to get that in order. I've also noticed that the uh, the horn switch kind of it's a little jiggly, so the horn right here. So every once in a while, if you hit it, the horn will uh, <laughs> will go. So, you know, a couple little things. Other than that, drives out great. The air conditioning does not blow cold, just letting you know. But it is there if somebody wants to fix it. I'm going to turn all of this off. And uh, just take a little virtual test drive. A little hard to steer and hold the camera, but I think we could do it. Car's probably been sitting here idling for uh, 30, 40 minutes. I gotta say, the temperature's staying nice and cool, so that's good. And it's kind of the busy time of day, but let's see if we can't get through the gears for you at least. to make sure it's working it is All right, let me downshift now going down fourth up to third down to second so the shifting feels great the suspension feels tight the brakes feel good no power steering though so a little easier to drive uh, <laughs> when you're not holding a camera There you go. So just a very kind of minor project. It's got a few little odds and ends that could use a little weekend weekend tinkering. But all in all, the car drives drives well. It feels good, nice and powerful, and uh, gets through smog without a problem. Give me a call if you have any questions. And thanks for checking it out.